and welcome to this episode of Brews of the Brunettes. My name is Ryan. I'm Jake. We're the Knights of the Brew Table. Who? Today on this episode of Brews with the Brunettes, we're going to be trying Blue Moon's Gingerbread Spiced Ale from the Seasonal Collection. Ooh, that sounds interesting, Ryan. I know, it sounds wonderful. 5.9% alcohol. What else can you tell us about that one, Jake? Oh, this one was created in collaboration with our fans. Our fans. Was it? Uh, Gingerbread spiced oh, yeah. ale combines ginger, molasses, winter spices for that slight caramel sweetness we're looking for. Like Blue Moon, the, the Belgian white, I think it's a fantastic beer. Slice some orange in oh, there. Oh my god, Ooh. yeah. This is going to be exciting. I like gingerbread. Who doesn't? Ooh, look how dark that is for a Blue Moon. Ooh, that's oh. almost like banana bread. I was going to say the same fucking it's thing, like dude. banana bread, you guys. Very little. Know, gingerbread has like a very particular oh, scent. It's poked. Banana bread has a very particular scent. It, it smells a little more like banana bread. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope banana it tastes. Banana bread ale. <laughs> <laughs> very clear. Like uh, the Killian's Irish red almost. Yeah. It's a bit reddish. So uh, yeah, let's give this one a try, man. Bottoms up. Super light on the flavor. I was hoping, and it tastes a lot more like gingerbread than... than uh, Definitely tastes more. Tastes a lot more like gingerbread. It smells like banana bread like Jake said. It really did. But yeah, super light on the flavor. Um, like Blue Moon, Blue Moon's very crisp and light. Yes. That's what I love about it. Something you can just drink continuously for a while, you know? Um, but this is very crisp. For, for how dark this beer looks, it is incredibly light. Yeah, you know, it's it very looks, clean. Looks can be very deceiving sometimes. But no, very easy on the gingerbread flavor. Very nostalgic. Not too sweet at all. I mean, you're still drinking a beer here. This, I think this, they couldn't have done better with this beer, I don't think. Like, in my mind, I'm like trying to look, some, look at some faults. Like, perfect amount of sweetness, per perfect amount of flavor, smells kind of... Yeah, fix the odor issue. Have yeah. it smell more like gingerbread. Yeah, that was... Of, we're talking then. <laughs> that was the only thing I thought that was kind of weird about was the smell. But man, the flavor, the, the, ta like, the taste, the color was pretty. Almost like the color of a gingerbread cookie too, you know? Yeah, this is something you could have in a holiday cup. I don't know what a holiday cup is, but this is something you'd be drinking out of your holiday cup. <laughs> your holiday cup. Let's yep. See. No, this is kind of a delight. This is one I would actually kind of go seek out again. I mean, not something you want to be drinking in midsummer time. No, um, no, please. But, uh, you know, late fall, early winter, perfection, man. I think they did a really good job with this one. I'm going to get a 4.5. Really? Yeah. That's Very impressive. good. Very good beer. That is impressive. So. This one, yeah, I'd give a 4. I mean, Blue Moon came in there and said, hey, we're Blue Moon. We don't need to do anything crazy. There's a little bit of gingerbread flavor. Here's some banana bread smell. I think if you guys, if the smell was better on this one, I would give this would have been my first five, I think. But the smell was just weird, and I think smell comes into a factor for, for an avid beer drinker. I think that's a big part. Color two, two characteristics that don't matter to like a casual drinker, to an avid beer drinker, I think they do, so. Or a blind guy who can't smell. It's like the one thing that doesn't matter. <laughs> How's it tell you, motherfucker? <laughs> Let me get that M Dog 2020. Let me get that Boone Farm. Well, that wraps up this episode, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Bruce of the Brunettes. My name's Ryan. I've been Jake. We're the Knights of the Table. Woo! And you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, guys.